Welcome. Here's a cute puzzle. Imagine I just made for myself a great big pan of brownies. Let's assume it's a rectangular pan. And let me color them brown for brownies. And while these brownies were cooling, a thief came along and actually cut out for herself a rectangular piece. And she did this in a funky way that was at some strange angle in my pan. And let me make sure it looks like a hole by coloring it white. So now I have a rectangular pan of brownies, but it's holy. There's a rectangular hole in it. Well, let me tell you what I was hoping to do, and this is why this is a problem. What I was hoping to do with my rectangular brownies was cut, cut them into two equal parts. That is, like me and my friend were going to have a great big brownie fest and each have a huge brownie. What I was actually going to do is uh, draw a straight line through the center of the rectangle, and it's clear that would chop the rectangle two parts of equal area. The trouble is now, I've got a shape that's not a rectangle, it's a holy rectangle. And my question is, is there still some cut I can make, or maybe something like this, I don't know what it is, so that the area of the one side of this cut is going to have the same area as the other side of this cut? Can that be done? Now, I don't know where that line is, maybe I have to cut more like this or something, maybe I can make this area equal to this area. The question is, is there a straight line cut that will do the trick? Well. I'll give her the answer in one theoretical sense right off the bat, namely the answer is yes. And in fact, if you've watched the video on uh, the two pancakes theorem, uh, you'll learn there that for any shape, there's guaranteed to be a straight line that uh, cuts that shape into two parts of equal area. So in a theoretical sense, I know a line exists, but I want this to have a practical answer. I want to know what line do I actually draw? How can I construct the line to cut this holy brownie, holy pan of brownies into two parts of equal area? All right. I'm going to give away the answer, and then I'm going to give a real question, but uh, this, is, this video is going to be a bit of a cliffhanger, uh, but think about it before uh, reading on, listening on. Maybe just pause the video for a moment and see if you can figure out where that special line would be that cuts this holy pan of brownies into two parts of equal area. All right, here goes. I'm going to give away the answer. In fact, I've kind of given away a big hint already. Uh, a rectangle, let me draw my rectangle again, has this remarkable property that if you took at the center point, what I mean by the center is the line where the two diagonals meet, that point is so marvelous that it, you can prove, and I bet you could do this little exercise, that any line through that center point is guaranteed to chop that rectangle into two parts of equal area. Da -da 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 -dum, da -da 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 -dum. So no matter what line you draw through that center, I bet you could prove it divides into two parts of the same area. So let's use it to the advantage. The, the piece that was stolen certainly as a rectangle has its own little center point. And the whole rectangular pan of brownies had its own center point. Now, I claim that if I was to draw the line that connects those two center points and make my cut across the pan of brownies along that line, then I'm going to have two brown regions of the same area. Now, that's kind of obvious if you think about it. For example, just within the hole, certainly the, the space of the hole on one side of the line equals the space of the hole on the other side of the line because that cut's going through the center of that rectangle. And by the same token, if that hole wasn't there, the space on one side of the, of the uh, cut for the whole pan of brownies equals the, the space of the whole uh, area of the pan of brownies on the other side of that line, which then means a little bit of just thinking that actually the actual amount of brownie you have on one side of the line, be it the holy piece, doo -doo -doo -doo, this is fun to draw, has to be the same area as the other piece. So there's the answer. To actually find the line that cuts the brownie, the holy brownie into two parts of equal area, just cut along the line that connects the centers of the two rectangles in question. Then you're guaranteed, guaranteed to have the equal amount of brownie on either side of that cut. But what really made that, that puzzle work was the fact that the rectangles have this amazing property. And here's my real cliffhanger question. Rectangles aren't the only shape of that property. In fact, if I did a rectangular, a regular octagon, whoops, give me my pen, I bet you could establish, and this have to come up in more detail in another video, that the center point of that regular octagon has the property that any line through that center is also guaranteed to chop it into two equal parts. Which means then, I could make the following puzzle. Suppose I made an oct octagonal pan of brownies, and someone came along and chopped out, well, let's be funky, a hexagonal hole. Is there a straight line cut that actually then cuts my octagonal holy pair, brownie pan into two parts of equal area? And I bet you could do exactly the same answer and prove that if you draw, draw the cut 
that connects the centers of these two shapes, then that will do the trick. The area of the brownie on one side of the cut will equal the area of the brownie on the other side of the cut. So regular octagons, regular hexagons have the property that there's a special point such that any lines where that point goes through, going through it cuts this shape into two parts of equal area. Um, other shapes have that property. Uh, we've seen that rectangles do. There's a special point for rectangle that any line through it cuts into two parts of equal area. Parallelograms have this property, which you might want to think about that too, that any line through the center point of a parallelogram cuts into two parts of equal area. Uh, regular 20 gons work. Um, circles work. Circle has the property that there's a special point such that any line through it cuts into two equals areas. So here's my real question. Is it possible to tell me exactly which shapes, and we'll just stick with polygons if you like, or maybe you want to start talking about curved shapes too, have the property that for it, there's guaranteed a special point. So da 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 da. Let me see if I can draw pictures. This is messy. Which polygons have the property? So I'll draw a random polygon. It's probably not going to be concave like this. Have the property that's a special point P somewhere in its interior such that any straight line through that point is guaranteed to chop the shape into two parts of equal area. And I mean any straight line through that point. We've certainly seen rectangles work, parallelograms work, regular hexagons, regular octagons work, squares work. Can you tell me the whole class of shapes that have that amazing property? And I'll give away the answer in another video. So there, brownies gone wild. This is actually a good little research question. Thanks very much.